Monday starts off the work week in more ways than one. Barring rain or a particularly tiring weekend, Monday means wash day to Ontario housewives. And what wash day would be complete without a little ironing in the evening? Does your back ache and do your feet feel tired already? At McDonald Institute of Home Economics in Guelph, Miss Marcia Gillespie has prepared a demonstration on a way of ironing a man's shirt in something like three to five minutes, after you've had time to practice on a dozen or so. Hey, ladies. It's ironing day at your house, but it can still be a good day. You probably agree with many other Ontario homemakers who rate ironing as one of the meanest of household chores. It's time something was done to help you, and that's what we'd like to do today in showing you a rather easy and quick way of ironing a man's shirt. The iron we're using today is a modern, lightweight iron. No more sad irons for us. Compare the work your mother did in lifting a seven or eight pound iron, and you get the same results lifting only three pounds. We're lucky in that respect, aren't we? This shirt has been dampened for about two hours so that it's ready to iron any time. In dampening, the sleeves and the collar were dampened first and turned in. Then the shirt was folded rather than rolled. In that way, you don't put any extra wrinkles in it. Unfold the shirt by letting the tail fall over the back of the board and bring the sleeve out in front of you. You're first going to iron the cuff, the outside and the inside of the cuff. While ironing the cuff, iron up into the placket. This is a double thickness, so the seams should be stretched and then they won't pucker. Now you're ready to iron the underside of the sleeve. Again, we have a seam which should be stretched as you go up. Stretch the armhole seam and then change over to your left hand and guide the iron down, pointing it into the gathers at the cuff. Turn the sleeve now and iron the other side. Again, make your left hand work for you. Now for the first time, the shirt is moved along the board, folding it flat at the yoke seam at the back. The yoke is to be pressed flat. This is another double thickness and should be ironed rather slowly. In using these lightweight irons, just guide them. No pressure is required. In this position, the collar is easily opened out and laid flat so that it can be ironed from the points to the center. Iron any collar that way, then you won't have wrinkles gathering in the corners. Iron right down into the collar band and spend a few extra seconds on the collar, for that's the part that people will judge you by. The shirt is turned now with a Z turn. Cross your arms, hold the shirt at the shoulders, and turn it over once. This brings the other sleeve into position to iron, and it's ironed in the same way that the first sleeve was. That is, the cuff outside and inside, and the underside and top side of the sleeve. Now slide the shirt along the board, and bring the collar into position to iron again. This time, you're ironing the underside, and I'm ironing it from the point to the collar. The, the neck band is being ironed at the same time. Now you may feel like a stretch. Just sit back and relax for a moment. You'll catch it up later. For the second time, the shirt is turned, this time so that it is lengthwise of the board with the collar to your left. Smooth the shirt out so that it's in position to iron the left half of the back. Now we're ironing the back. The side seam stretched it, stretching it so that it will be smooth and ironing right up to the yoke. Twice up and back should give you the full half of the back. Now turn the, the left 
the front over the iron portion of the back and iron it smooth and dry. This brings into line the button band, which is almost as important as the collar. So be sure it's ironed very smooth and dry. Turn the button band back and iron the underside. As you do that, be careful that you don't iron a crease where the button band has been turned back. Now the shirt is slid across the board and this brings the other half of the back into position to iron. Then the unironed portion of the front is placed over the iron back and the, uh, it is ironed in exactly the same way. Now we're ironing the underside of the right button band just as we did the left button band. The shirt is completely ironed now. Just sit back a moment and survey the job you've done. Well done, you should say of yourself. Just let me go over how this shirt was ironed. First the right sleeve, then the yoke was folded flat at the seam and ironed, then the inside of the collar, then the shirt was turned using a Z turn and the other sleeve was ironed, then the underside of the collar. The shirt was turned for a second time so that it lay lengthwise of the board with the collar to your left. Then the left back and the left front, and the right back and the right front, with the button bands turned back to iron the underside. Ordinarily, we prefer to hang a shirt. It makes it easier to get into, and there are no extra wrinkles put in it. If you like to fold a shirt to put it away in a drawer, or pack it away in a suitcase, a neat way to do it is to finger press the collar, and then button the first, third, and fifth buttons, just to hold the front sections together. The shirt is turned, still lengthwise of the board, and the sleeves are folded across the back of the yoke. The sides are turned in to the center back, and the tail is folded up about two-thirds of the way. The tail is tucked in the pocket made by the cross sleeves. Neat job, isn't it? That's all there is to it, ladies. It's, uh, the whole process only took scarcely longer than 15 minutes. But what about that shortcut method I was going to show you? Oh, that comes later. After you've used this method a while, we'll wager you'll be averaging one every five minutes. We may be wrong, but we don't think so. In the meantime, we'd like to wish you all many happy ironing days. Ironing can be pleasant. It's plain to see that we men will now have to give some thought to entertaining our wives on Monday evening.